Welcome everyone, you're watching Isle Surfing Sup behind the scenes content creation day at Catalina Island. We're over at Two Harbors, it's absolutely beautiful. We got the paddle boards ready, we have the safety gear ready, we have photography, videography, we're going against these cliffs, gonna go have an adventure day. Now you guys are coming along with us. currently prepping some dive gear right now. Everybody is just crazy eager to get in this water. Honestly, it looks like some of the most clear water we've ever been in. And there's this really cool, pretty little lagoon where it shifts to like the most teal color you could ever imagine. And we're gonna go out with the paddle board, try and get some underwater housing shots underneath the board, people chilling on the boards, see what kind of marine life is down there. It should be epic. Yeah, man. Show. You good? Woo. All right, we just finished up some lunch. We're gonna use this little shallow area to have a more controlled environment, get the water housing and do some passes with the boards, just focusing on some close-ups and just taking advantage of a little calmer water. It's just a lot easier to control the environment when your feet can touch and you can have an easy conversation with the paddleboarder. Reed, are you good? Okay, see the edge of these rocks? That's kind of going to be your line. Just do like a half circle. So back up a little bit and then do a half circle. So you're kind of broadside at me right here. Competition. Let's just go right around the buoy and back. Alright. No rules. You can tackle. Oh. You can smack him with a paddle. <laughs> Loser has to uh, clean up after dinner. Alright, that Loser, works. Loser cleans up after dinner. You're on this boat? Hi, hi. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> oh, my. oh my god. Connor's uh, clearly in the front, followed by Bone and then Reed. They got to turn around at the buoy. Bone takes the inside. Oh no! Clear winner, Nicholas Thoman, followed by Con and. Looks like Reed's doing the dishes. <laughs> we're gonna do last shots, and then we're gonna head back to the camp get everything set up for the night, hopefully go out, get a fish for dinner, if not, figure it out, and then 
uh, get a few more shots out there as well, and then uh, go back and hopefully cook up some fish for dinner. All right, so we're getting camp set up. Got my tent up here. Khan's getting his tent up. Yes, sir. Sorry. I have to get back here by like 7.30-ish. All right. I like it. Because I think it'd be a great shot if we're like cooking up, hopefully, fish. Yeah. We'll see. There it's going to be fish. And we have the backdrop, and we have everything going, and then we can hang and just not have to be like stuck out there. What time we got? 10 to 6. Let's move. Let's get moving. That's what you do when you get a fish. What's well, good? So, got this bad boy. About five minutes after this calico. Calico is at the end of my breath, probably 40, 50 feet down. This guy, on the other hand, pretty bad shot. Right through his, right through the meat, right through the part you want to eat. But uh, we'll cut around it. This guy was swimming away from me, so I kind of did a hell mary shot, but. It worked out all right. Now we're eating fish for dinner. We're eating fish for <laughs> dinner. <laughs> yeah, bud. Successful uh, shoot, boys. I think we did it. Yeah, for sure. Sun was kind of going fun. down. At, the sun like, was going right down we big time. We were worried with how the light was going to be, but visibility was better over there than it yeah, was, it was over here. Yeah, it was way better than over here. Pretty shallow spot, or? No, very Quite deceiving. The opposite. <laughs> very deceiving. You would be like five feet from the point, and it would still be about 15, 20 feet, and then everything from there was just like straight descending to like 45, 50 feet where all the fish were hanging out. Yeah, Khan was definitely pushing his limits with those bigger fins. He was probably going down to like 55, at least 60. Well, worth it. Worth he's it. cleaning his fish over there, and then we're gonna cook it. Right there. That's how you do that.
I think we got some epic stuff. Man, it's so nice being able to just drag these things up on rocks and launch a drone in a little cove. Not have to worry about it. This water is just unreal. But I think the other half of the team is hopefully waking up, getting camp packed up, and maybe we'll link up with them soon. this morning was unreal get got some like backlit silhouettes super successful morning shoot it was unreal I need to get this footage on land ASAP so we just broke down camp it was an amazing sight met the boys over at that point this morning delivered some cold brew Khan got some awesome calico and now we are just loading up our paddle boards and we're gonna go grab breakfast burrito and then hop on the ferry and about an hour and head back to the mainland. All right, everyone, that's a wrap. That's it for the IELT team on Catalina Island. We are still at two harbors right now. It's been just over 24 hours. No one has showered, we had a lot of paddle boarding, we speared some fish, we ate some dinner with that fish, we had a ton of fun exploring. Now we're heading back to Long Beach, we're gonna drive back home to San Diego and San Clemente and have a little more fun down there and do another shoot this evening. And for the next adventure, we'll have you guys tag along again. See ya. You catch a fish, which is not looking very likely right now, but let's go play sports.